Hello my beauty family, how are you today? For those who's new, hi, my name is Victoria and I'm here to share with you my passion about makeup and skincare. So if you still haven't joined my family, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified about my future videos. Also follow me on Instagram and let's have fun together. So guys, as you already know, if you're watching my videos, I got a job. So sometimes I will need to film my videos after work and this is one of the days. So I'm actually thinking to add a lot of products to my channel. No, I should say a lot of wear tests to my channel, you know what I mean? Because every morning I'm applying makeup on my face and it will be like perfect after eight plus hours coming back home and actually checking out the makeup and it will help you guys to see how makeup lasts with or without touch-ups, you know what I mean? So I hope you are excited about this because there are a lot of new products that I want to purchase and I want to check out how they work. But today's video is a little bit different. So when I was driving home, I was thinking about coming back home and cleaning my makeup shelves. You know, sometimes you have this kind of mood when you want to throw away something, you're in a cleaning mode. Cleaning mood, if you know what I mean. I feel like at least once per month I have this type of mood when I'm just trying to clean everything. So I decided to film today's video about makeup and skincare products. I'm gonna throw away after this video and obviously these products I'm not gonna repurchase. I want to share with you guys those products. Some of them I was mentioning briefly in my previous videos, but I want to make this video like a whole video about those products. So you will click on this video, you will check out these products, you will get to know why I didn't like them and what actually didn't work for me. And hopefully, guys, this whole information will be useful for you. So you will not purchase something that actually not worth the money. And with this being said, I want to jump straight into first product. And guys, I was talking about this product in a video when I was trying this for the first time. I hated this. I totally hated this. First of all, I want to mention that I have dry, sensitive skin and I'm extremely pale. I know, I can't actually get a beautiful tan in the summertime, you know what I mean? Without literally going to the beach like every freaking day. When I go for the foundation, I usually go almost for the lightest shade. And guys, when I purchase this foundation, I'm like... Damn, that's a straight white paint. So the product I'm talking about is CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear 3-in-1 Foundation. It said that it's 24 hours wear, full coverage, SPF 18. And the shade I chose is Golden Ivory. <sighs> so this foundation isn't actually cheap. It retails for $10.49 at Target. And let me tell you, girl, this absolutely stunning foundation from Believe Beauty retails for $5. So I could basically purchase two of them and I would be super happy. You know what? Let me actually check why I hated this so much. So at first it looks slightly brighter than my skin tone, but when I'm blending these guys, it doesn't look good, you know what I mean? Look at that. Oh, it smells like straight paint. Just imagine that you're painting your room or, I don't know, just walking around something that just was painted. It literally smells like straight paint. And, I mean, I don't mind smell of paint, but applying this on my face, I don't know about that. So, I'm sure you guys know that a lot of foundations can oxidize on our skin. The reason why it's happening is because our skin produces oil. And when we're applying layer of foundation and with some time our skin produces oil and everything is combining together, the oil obviously changes the foundation's 
texture it's sometimes it's even even you know the skin tone so when we're talking about foundation oxidizing we're actually talking about our face producing oils and when everything is combining it can change the whole situation you know what i mean and what's happened with this foundation it was already too light for me when i apply this and blend it so after some time it looked on my face like straight white paint my face looked so dry so i was doing some research and i found people talking about covergirl outlast stay fabulous 3-in-1 foundation and it was discontinued so that's why people buying this new version new version but guys, it's not the same, it's not even close. I don't know what they did wrong with the formula, I don't know what's happened, it's actually not working. If you want a full coverage from this foundation, it will look so cakey. And guys, I don't know, I have a lot of products from CoverGirl that I really like. When I'm talking about specific product, I'm not talking about whole brand that it's bad, not at all. There are a lot of products from this brand that I absolutely love. Like their brow pencil, lip pencil, everything is just stunning. I love their formula, I feel like they are just amazing. But this foundation is total fail. Definitely skip this, don't waste your money. If you want to purchase something that would look good from the drugstore, there are a lot of options from different brands. I totally hate this product and if you had different experience with this product, please let me know in the comments. I would be really happy to hear from you guys. Okay, let's talk about second product and I can almost guarantee that there will be a lot of people who will just hate me because of that. So I'm gonna talk about about Dragon Beauty color corrector in a lavender shade. This baby retails for $25. If you're watching my videos, you know that when I was trying this before, I had some controversial feelings about this. At first, I didn't like it. Then I'm like, hmm, it's blended nicely. It kind of helped to correct my discoloration and dark spots, basically my dark circles underneath my eyes. Everything was just working out for me. And then I was using this over and over again and every time when I was using this specific product my eyes were creasing so badly. Honestly guys, I was blaming my concealers for that. When I was using concealer without this product everything just was good. And I'm like, you know what? There is some logic here. So I received this product actually in one of my subscription boxes. It has a really beautiful lavender shade. It obviously made specifically for correcting that areas that you would like to brighten up. And I feel like it's just too heavy. I usually was using this in my under eye area, somewhere in a spot that I would like to correct around the face. And it was just too heavy for my face way too heavy, it was creasing, my foundation wouldn't hold on that place where I was previously applying this product, so I feel like it totally doesn't work for dry type of skin. And I know guys that there are a lot of people who absolutely adore this brand, so maybe one day I will actually check out something else, but so far I wouldn't recommend this product and I definitely will not repurchase this. Okay guys, next product is actually really different. It's not makeup product, it's a Rituals Harmonizing Foaming Shower Gel. It looks super beautiful, the packaging is adorable, it smells so good. It's really foaming, when you're applying this to your body it smells really good, it feels really good. So 200 milliliters of this product retails for $12.50. And I know guys, I'm like talking about this in such a good manner and everything is great, it smells good, it's really foaming, the packaging is stunning, but guys, I don't know how many times I was using this, three or four. So every time when I was pressing to get the product, the product would come out, everything was awesome, and then I'm just putting this back, it's staying like that, and this whole cap getting filled with product because after pressing on the applicator, the product is just keep going, you know what I mean? That was insane. I wasted so much of the product and I feel like if Rituals would create another applicator that would really, really help to make our experience more enjoyable because everything about this is just so cool. It smells like Indian rose and sweet almond oil. It's not overpowering, it's just 
it's really good. I really loved the scent, I really loved how it feels, but it was a huge waste. Obviously, I used all of this, it's totally empty. I'm not gonna repurchase this, mainly because of this applicator. Next, guys, I have two mascaras, two super famous mascaras, I should say from the beginning. Those mascaras are from the drugstore, and they're like in a top list of mascaras, you know what I mean? And I don't want you to throw on me any tomatoes and eggs. No! I know what I don't like about them, and let me just explain. First mascara that I'm gonna talk about is L'Oreal Voluminous Lush Paradise Mascara waterproof version. I know guys, when you hear the name of this mascara, you're like, what? Don't get me wrong, I love the original L'Oreal Voluminous Lush Paradise Mascara. I tried a lot of different shades, I mean, a lot of different shades, what I'm talking about, different shades of black in this mascara, and I absolutely loved every tube I used before. But then I'm like, hmm, waterproof mascara and summer is coming, let me just buy this. Guys, it was the biggest mistake I've ever done when I was walking in the L'Oreal makeup section in the drugstore. So guys, at first when I was applying this, I noticed the difference. So it was clumping straight from the beginning and I hated this. I'm like, Wait a second, something is definitely going on here. I'm telling you, it wasn't the biggest problem. The biggest problem started when I went to the bathroom to wash my makeup. And guys, I was using my cellar water that I would use for another waterproof mascaras I've used before. I was using makeup wipes. I was using cream eye makeup removers and I had the worst experience washing this mascara out, even though I was using products that were supposed to help to break down the product and just safely wash it from my face, just nothing held perfectly. And also what I've noticed after a few times of wearing this mascara, so let's say I applied this mascara in the morning time, when it's coming close to the evening, my eyes were on fire. I don't know what was going on. It literally hurts my eyes. I was using this mascara on my channel mainly before my falsies and even with applying this mascara just a little bit, it still would hurt my eyes. So because of this whole experience, I don't recommend you to purchase this mascara in waterproof version. Definitely check out the original if you still haven't checked this out. I highly recommend this, it's just perfect mascara with perfect applicator for either everyday look or for creating some voluminous look to your smoky eyes, you know what I mean? So this is how this applicator looks, it's pretty big brush, it has the same brush like in every other mascara from this type, but it just waterproof is no good guys, no good. And another mascara that I totally started to hate after literally applying this in the morning time before going somewhere and literally being rushed, you know what I mean? And the product I'm talking about is Maybelline. Is Maybelline? Is Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. Let me show you this applicator. Guys, I wanted you to take really close look to this applicator because it's just a cream on a pie, you know what I mean? It's the biggest problem of this mascara. So it retails for $10.49, so it's even more expensive than L'Oreal Lush Paradise mascara. And this brush is just something. So the product basically just caked on the brush. And when you're applying this to your lashes, it's clumping and literally pieces of this mascara falling down, dry pieces. It just, it just no go, it just no go at all. I've used this couple times on my channel and after just, you know, not being able to build what I want and just destroying my complexion because this mascara was falling everywhere, it just, I decided that I'm not gonna use it again. It just it just total fail. It's dried out so fast after opening this. It's like on a third time, I'm like, this is freaking dry mascara. I feel like it's not worth the money. It definitely not something that I would recommend you to try. Just skip this and go for 
let's say, e.l.f. Big Boot Mascara that I've tried in my previous video. By the way, if you still haven't seen that video, I will link it down below so you can check this out. I have this mascara on my eyes today. I know guys, after wearing this for whole day, it probably doesn't look so fresh and nice, but it literally shows you how this mascara is wearing throughout the day. And I absolutely love this. It's definitely something new that you need to check out. But be ready for huge applicator. It's kind of messy, but just let this mascara to dry out a little bit, so it will be easier to apply. And yeah, just enjoy your beautiful lashes with this Elf Big Mood Mascara. And the packaging is just absolutely adorable. And this video is not sponsored. Okay, guys, so I have here two last products that I want to talk about. One of them is kind of really interesting because I was talking about this brand in one of my previous videos. I was really intrigued by the whole vibe. It was really innovative and personalized, as I thought. And I actually used all of this product. I'm gonna show you the empty packaging. I will not be able even to show you the product, how it looks, but I'm sure if you scroll down to my videos, you can definitely see how does it look and how did it work for my skin, what problems I had with this and so on. So the product I'm gonna talk about is a cleanser from your skincare. I was using this whole skincare line for a few months. I wanted to figure it out, how does it work for my skin, because this skincare products were made specifically for my skin type and were just whole satisfaction of all of my skin's need. But obviously, when you are skincare and makeup junkie, you want to try everything. So I started to mix all products because I couldn't just stay loyal to one skincare brand. I just can't. So I started to use this cleanser with another brands and after some time my skin felt super overwhelmed. And let me tell you why. I started to use a lot of products like toners, serums, exfoliants, and some of that products actually consist a lot of acids, like let's say that exfoliant that I was using. And this product is supposed to be like a first step in your skincare routine because it's a cleanser, and when you're doing your double cleansing, you're using this. It contains salicylic and glycolic acid, so basically those ingredients that help to break down your makeup and clean your pores from inside and it just didn't work so good. I finished using this and after finishing using this I bought mild cleanser because I felt like my skin is overwhelmed, it's too much, I need some mild cleanser, I have dry sensitive skin. So yeah, this was product that I actually used and 100 milliliters lasted me for so long, for over six months and that's just insane. So I feel like I'm not disappointed with trying this. Just right now I'm reaching for another product, so I'm not gonna repurchase this one. And the last product I'm gonna talk about is Apple Plus Bome Glow Lip Mask from Seraphine Botanicals. It's something that I received in one of my subscription boxes as well. It has this weird applicator, it retails for 25 bucks and... oh... It's actually separated, now there is oil. Let me shake it and actually try to show you the texture of this product. Actually, shaking didn't really help. At first, I was really excited about this product. Actually, when you will blend it for a while, you're getting like kind of gel-like texture lip product, you know what I mean? But the point that I'm making, it's just this applicator is just something that I would skip in my lip products unless it's just something specifically that I'm just totally in love with. Then I can deal with this applicator. After wearing this for a little bit, it's literally disappearing from the lips. It's like drying out. And I was trying to apply this lip mask before I go to sleep, like it said on their side. And I was waking up with extremely dry lips. And it's not like it was for one, two, three times. I've used this product few times and every time when I was waking up it was just my lips were a disaster. Even just cheap ass drugstore chapstick works way better than this $25 product for me. I don't know, for some reason my lips 
don't like it. I really appreciate that it's cruelty free and vegan and it has a lot of good ingredients but it just didn't work for me. I'm not gonna even keep it because there is no point. I'm not gonna use it and I don't know anyone who's gonna use it because it literally doesn't work. So I'm just gonna throw it away. And yeah guys, I don't recommend you to purchase this because I feel that for 25 bucks you can definitely find something way way better. Okay guys, and that's it for today. Hopefully guys, you will find this video helpful for yourself and hopefully my own experience will prevent you from buying something that will make you really, really upset. It's honestly the main concern I had today when I was thinking about filming this video. I could just throw away these products, but I decided to talk to you about them so at least one of us will save their money you know what i mean also guys tell me what products that you purchased recently or let's say a month ago you wouldn't purchase again i will be super happy to read your comments guys and yeah thank you for staying with me today hopefully guys you enjoyed this video hopefully you found this information useful definitely don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up also subscribe to my channel if you still haven't and follow me on instagram also i have tiktok where i usually post a lot of short makeup tutorials a lot of different beauty and unboxing videos so join me there too and yeah thank you for staying with me today i will see you guys in my next video love you bye